a 23 year old old male healthy male non smoker with good oral hygiene i am just giving you the vital information required for the question healthy male is one one flu good oral hygiene develops vesicles vesicle is important keyword with lower lip with low grade fever patient has been received with exams for the past one month what is the pro- probable diagnosis okay so we have two types of uh, herpes simplex lesions okay one you need to think of uh, herpes 1 and one you have to think of herpes 2 hsv1 and hsv2 now we will just read uh, the more features about one then we will figure about we'll figure it up about the lesions okay this hsv1 and 2 is majorly caused by herpes simplex virus herpes simplex virus okay so the transmission is through direct contact you have to understand it's through direct contact you have two lesions one oral is oral uh, lesions are caused in one and hsv2 it is genital lesions okay oral we have two again one is your primary lesion one is your recurrent lesion okay again here also we have primary lesion and you have a recurrent lesion okay in this primary lesion usually it is asymptomatic primary is asymptomatic it's called in kids it's called gingivostomatitis gingivostomatitis in adults it causes pharyngitis you got it then recurrent we call herpes labialis okay cold sores of the mouth okay this is important in herpes recurrent herpes labialis okay then uh, what are the other lesions that it can cause is it can cause something called herpetic whitlow herpetic whitlow in fingers fingers if it causes uh, similar lesions in sports person near the fa- face neck and arms it's called herpes gladi gladiatorum gladiatorum okay and this area with eczema is called eczema herpeticum eczema herpeticum okay in cns it causes a lesion called encephalitis which is most common in uh, children viral meningitis okay in eye it causes keratitis and retinitis okay and in case of nerve it causes wells palsy wells palsy and your wells palsy involving your cranial nerve 7 okay cranial nerve 7 7 this is 7 cranial nerve 7 okay then uh, mainly considering hsv1 it causes acute gingival stomatitis your cold sores with low keratoconjunctivitis encephalitis two it causes genital herpes so what is the patho- pathogenesis your uh, pathogenesis is going to be first entry entry by skin okay or mucous membrane viral multiplication viral multiplication okay after it multiplies it causes lysis of cells okay lysis of cells vesicles ulcer formation ulcers okay after nearing this viral multiplication you have your sensory nerves right sensory nerves it gets affected in the root ganglia once if you understand this flow chart lifelong you'll remember this herpetic lesions they'll have a latency period on reactivation it causes ulcer okay this is very simple uh histopathology you need to understand there will, there will be ballooning of cells okay ballooning of cells you will have a uh, lipscutz bodies lipscutz bodies lipscutz bodies then you have a formation of multinucleated chain cell okay this you need to understand only these things you need to understand okay now uh, so basically recurrent herpes it's called secondary herpes or recurrent herpes okay it's called cold sore or fever blister so see the site site labialis is it's very common multiple sites of recurrent secondary to spread of viral cracked lips but all of you would have uh, 
wondered why is it uh, why is it in the question they have mentioned patient has been busy with exams for your for the past one month if if there are if there is a option on uh, afters also that would be the answer okay now we will see uh, one more important thing what are the stages of these herpes so first you will have a prodromal phase prodromal lesion prodromal seed prodromal where you will have tingling and itching tingling itching okay skin appears very normal skin is normal next you will have redness in redness you will have some uh, swelling no blister okay no blisters i am writing only the keywords please understand these are there are uh, nearly seven stages so next will be your small blisters third stage is blister formation in this small blisters will come first it will be yellow first it will be clear then yellow painful i am just writing only the keywords so that you can understand you can you can not forget all these for life long these are very prominent clinical cases which we encounter in a daily practice then this blisters will progress to form ulcers this will be painful again painful with open areas then you have drying up and healing drying up and uh, healing in this drying up and healing you have a crust a flaky crust okay a flaky crust is there it resembles a scab okay after that this this is a the sixth stage is also drying up and healing in that your cold sore is complete that is your uh, cold sore is complete it may be your uh, your redness under a scab will remain and next last one is your healed skin healed skin back to normal the skin is entirely skin is back to normal okay so why you have to know all these is these are the stages through which your uh, your lesions up, up, occur okay prodromal redness small blister then ulcer drying up healing crust formation then healed skin so this is a, a stage of blister and ulcer okay after this once this uh, this drying up and healing and all comes it will resemble a normal in normal uh, ulcer okay in question they have mentioned two there are two keywords one is a healthy male he is a non smoker develops vesicles so vesicular formation is definitely a uh, sign of herpes and then you have a low grade fever also he has been received exams so if the option is there uh, after this is there you can opt it but here They have given two other clues with it, right? Your vesicle and your low grade inflammation in uh, low grade fever. So the option obviously goes for herpes labialis. In this question, we've seen uh, HS about HSV one, HSV two. What are the lesions? Then I have told you about the various stages of your uh, lesion. Okay. And then I have told you the uh, other uh, diseases caused by your uh, herpes. Then how was the virus multiplication evident? Okay. and then you have uh, prominent histopathological features so the right answer for this question is herpes labialis